This part work has been supplied to me free of charge from fanhome.com. Please pop along to their website and see all of the other build-up part works that they have to offer, as well as other collections of collectible things. I would like to thank Fan Home for providing me with the part work so I can produce these videos for your enjoyment and educational needs. If you'd like to build one of your own, pop along to fanhome.com. They're available in many countries worldwide. If you do want to build one, leave a note in the comments to let me know how you're getting on. So thank you once more to Fan Home for providing me with this kit. I hope you enjoy the build. Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models. Welcome to issue 52 of Building Knight Rider's Kit from Fan Home and Universal and Knight Rider. Uh, let's have a look at the magazine and then we'll get to the building. We're continuing the self-contained build, but the little self-contained build is becoming the slightly larger self-contained build now. Uh, but first of all, the series we're looking at episode 23 from season two, approaching the end of season two. A guitarist and singer of a rock band is found dead. His girlfriend, the lead singer of the band, turns to the fountain foundation for help. She's a face from the past. Stevie, the former girlfriend of Michael Long, before he was Michael Knight. Is she going to know him? Is she going to recognise him? I think so, because Stevie says we'll always say goodbye to each other. Um, yeah, uh, that's that. Uh, the, the last episode in the series, uh, where April can be seen in action. All right, next episode of the season finale, she does not appear except in the opening credits. Uh, oh yeah, April disappears and uh, Bonnie returns. That's interesting. I, I knew it happened, but I couldn't tell you exactly one when it changed over. There we go. Um, so yeah, Kit's function is doing audio and video recording, automatic trunk opening and turbo boost. Pass down a turbo boost. Automatic trunk opening is a thing now, but turbo boost is not. Uh, musical performance. Yeah, lots of music in this episode, I would assume. Uh, so, we are doing the interior floor panel. Uh, this is obviously in the in the interior, and it's the floor. So we're going to be fitting the bit that we did last time, uh, fitting bits to it. I don't know why we didn't do that last time. But we're going to fit that, and then do some more work on the panel, and then we'll fit that into it, making one large interior section. Uh, looking at David Hasselhoff, the musician. Um, oh, right. He had an album, Night Rocker, in 1985. Uh, yeah. Hoff was a singing star worldwide, especially in Europe. Not not UK, Europe. Germany, I think he was very big in. But yeah. Uh, it's very, very strange. I used to sing all the time. Yeah, okay. So, if you want to watch the episode, you get to see or hear David Hasselhoff sing. You can always skip that episode, I assume. But there we go. Let's get on with it. I'll get this bench clear and we'll get this stuff installed onto the floor. Okay, nice and easy this one. We've only got BP screws to play with. So I shall get a, a bunch of them out because we're going to be using quite a few. Uh, first of all, we're going to be putting that aside and we're going to be installing these to this. Uh, so we have obviously right and left to worry about. So we'll get the one that's marked with an L, which will go onto the left side. Uh, what does it say? Marked with an L. This is going yeah onto that side over there. So we've got a pin and a screw. The screw is one of these. Going in obviously that way up. So the pin goes in the lower hole as it is at the moment and the screw. It's going to be fun trying to get in at a funny angle. So let's try that in the screw in a bit first without worrying about the pin. Then we'll get the pin in, and then we can tighten that up. There we go. So that's that sorted out, the uh, driver's side. And then the passenger side, obviously, does the same thing from the other side, as you would well imagine that it would. Go in there, a bit like that. Through in that hole, and that feels like that's going somewhere. So let's tighten that up and see what happens. There we go. The nice little bits for the seatbelts to click into, uh, and then we can put that aside for a moment. Bring in the whole large item. Uh, I don't know why, but they all these car builds that I've been doing have had this separate panel that's removable in the middle of the drive shaft. I don't know why. I don't know if it's, I mean, obviously for access for something. 
But uh, yeah, it never seems to come to anything. You don't need maybe the wires are going through it. I, I don't know. I don't think the wires have gone through it on previous builds. But uh, it's just an interesting difference to all the well, similarity between the builds, but I don't know why that's a thing. But there we have that now installed into there. Uh, then we've got two more items to fix onto this before fixing the big thing itself. I need more screws, and oh, I didn't get enough out. So, two more screws to fit this piece, which is a connector apparently um, making sure you get it the right way round so the uh, narrow bit is on the inside so it shapes the same way as the rounding part and two screws hold that in place assuming it's not so much a connecting part as a little uh, post that will allow the dashboard to line up on it is that the dashboard or is that the boot I think that's the back. This must be the front with the shaping for the floor panels. I think the rear center. Yes, so this is the rear. So that's going on there. Like so. I think. Uh, and then this piece will go onto there facing backwards. So it's like that. And maybe this is the front, and this is where. Pedals are going to go because this is the driver's side, then, isn't it? You know what will tell us which way around it's going to go is when I fix the whole big thing in with the uh, center console. Because if you get that the wrong way around, then everything won't work at all, will it? So let's get this one in there, like so. Uh, this is just connecting piece two. Nice uh, titles and names that they give these pieces. We'll go in there. Like that. There we have it. Uh, and then this goes on there. So yes, this is in fact the front. That goes in there. That wire does go through there. They could have made it just with a hole on it anyway, couldn't they? I would have assumed. So, uh, yeah, looking at how this is going to join up, we've got three connecting points obviously you need to line up. And if you get them lined up, then everything will be in the right place by the looks of it. I'm feeling like it lines up properly, though. But you can actually see through there a little bit. So that's that one. Yeah. Two in there, lined up at the top, and then worry about the one at the back in just a moment. The hole there that's oh, there are four. Yeah, that's that's the other one that has to line up as well. All right, okay. There's an extra bit to hold it in place. I moved it now. I can't get it back in the right place again now. There we go, that's that. Let's get one of these in there. See, I still didn't get enough screws out. They didn't give me any spare screws in that pack. There's a big pack of them, and we're going to use all of them. I mean, I've got plenty of BP screws kicking around, but if I did need a spare, I would be able to find one. But it's unusual to not have a spare from a big pack. Those in there, and the last one down the back there. Yeah, so this middle section here is just to let that wire out. Why they couldn't have just left the hole like they did up here for that, I don't know. But uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, being careful putting these on the, the other side, obviously, you're not bending off the gear stick and bits that you've got attached on there. Be aware of those and get that tightened up onto there there we go that is that that is this stage complete uh, this is what the transmission housing and center console should look like out into the interior panel it does it looks like that it doesn't quite you know, fit it's not a flush 
fitting. But um, I don't know if it should be. Have I not got that side down properly, maybe? I don't see how it could go anywhere else. Oh no, I'm sure that is correct. It's just the way the shape of the car is. We've got this bit under here that's a gap for some reason, but it can't go anywhere else. So that's where it's going to be. Obviously, there's seats going in there as well. So you're not going to be able to see any of this from the side anyway. So that's that. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, join me very shortly for the next part where we're going to be continuing to build onto this, I believe. So uh, thanks for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you soon. Bye bye for now.